out with the old and in with the new. More than one year after cannabis was legalized in Canada, Ontario is scrapping its lottery system in favor of a newer model that could see more legal storefronts in the province, in the GTA, including right here in Kensington Market. We have all our floor plans and everything is ready to go. Kensington Market's hotbox has never sold marijuana, but the cannabis-based lounge is hoping yesterday's news from the government will change that, saying this new open market model will help to diversify the market, replacing a slow system that has faced criticism for making it nearly impossible for retailers to get licensed. I think they should have started with, a, with an actual application and a merit-based system as opposed to a crazy lottery that benefited nobody. In the first week of January, the alcohol and Gaming Commission will begin accepting applications for retail operator licenses, issuing up to 20 authorizations a month in cities that have opted in. Prospective owners will also be subject to an approval process that also includes a criminal record check and a financial commitment up front. Also unveiling a timeline that the province says is going to be rolled out gradually in the next few months and years. If you have a license or as a retail operator, uh, you can open up to 10 stores up to 2020, September 2020. So, and then that increases a year later to 30 stores. After 2021, licensed operators can have up to 75 stores. But how many stores can be located within a city, community or neighborhood? There is no cap on the number of stores that can be located in that municipality, as long as the stores uh, also respect the existing regulation with respect to proximity to schools. Currently, cannabis stores can operate within 150 meters from schools. The AGCO says they've been able to move to this newer model because supply and demand of marijuana has stabilized. And this new approach, according to the government, will help to tackle the illegal market. Instead, having supply where needed. It's the change we were waiting for. This Toronto cannabis lawyer credits unlicensed cannabis storefronts for this change, saying getting rid of the lottery system was sensible. Really, really positive about this legislation is it's encouraging people to make legal applications to open legal storefronts in Ontario. And that's huge. It's precisely what the market wanted, and it's going to uh, really help to achieve the goals of cannabis legalization in the first place. Lloyd adds that the market this far has dictated that products at unlicensed stores are better. But this merit-based application system will bring balance, creating more legal storefronts and competition. Really, the, the licensed market needs to improve the quality of their products, and I'm sure they're working very hard to do that. The AGCO says municipalities who originally opted out do have the option of opting in and adding that there have actually been a couple currently considering this. However, that same option is not available to municipalities who originally opted in.